morning guys and girls of YouTube welcome back it's a nice sunny day beautiful day what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to put one bay of fencing up from start to finish all the tools you need from post creek the lot so I'm just going to run through them with you now basic tool grafter pick these up from anywhere screw fix anywhere Shovel, post holes, you don't need post holes, you can do it with your hand, but these just make life easier and save your back. A standard level, don't have to be anything expensive. A bar, just in case you come across anything tough. You can invest in a breaker. If you're thinking about setting up yourself and you're a trader and you're thinking about doing it yourself with the pandemic and everything else, losing the jobs and that, you can just start off with one of these. But if you do hit some hard concrete, I suggest you just buy one of them cheap electric breakers. You can always arrange a bit of power with the customer. Steel saw. Don't have to be a steel saw. Don't have to be a petrol steel saw. It can be an electric angle grinder with a diamond blade on it. That's purely to cut a post down or gravel board because not every fence will finish on exactly one bay. Watering can for water. You know where to get these from, guys. Wilco's anywhere like that. <laughs> they might even have one in your shed, really. Bag of postcrete per hole. You don't have to use postcrete. You can have used ballast and cement, a four and one mix. One shovel of cement, four shovels of ballast, however you want to do it. We use postcrete because it goes off rapidly. So as soon as we've done that fence, we can walk away from it knowing full well that fence ain't going to move. One post, one gravel board, one panel that's everything you need to put in one bay of fencing now we're going to talk you through it from digging the hole to leveling how we do it and we'll give you some little tips along the way first job is we want to find out exactly where that hole's going so we use an old six foot level it's battered it won't level anything but it's perfect for what we need it's six foot long so it's the same length as a gravel board you can use a bit of wood cut off six foot it does the same job so put it into the slot of your last bay mark exactly where you want to dig that hole pull that out of the way Grab your post holes. Bear in mind, everything that I've mentioned here, we sell in our shop. So if you are thinking about taking this up yourself, come down and see us and we'll fully kick you out. And we'll start digging the hole. I'll dig this hole and then we'll show you what the next process is. Hole's finished. Now you're gonna ask me, how do I know that hole is the right depth? Well. Instead of getting your tape out every single time, we put bits of tape, insulation tape, on these at two foot. So when that gets level with the ground, you know exactly that is two foot in the ground. Top tip. Next stage, bring your road level or piece of wood, your decent level, And let's start leveling this ground up, ready for this gravel board. Digging it out and checking and checking. That will save you a lot of backache. Lifting the gravel board in, out, in, out. Shake it all about. <laughs> I'll level this off and then we'll get to the next stage. Now you may ask how you get to know exactly what depth you need to go. 
basically you get your tape. I didn't mention tape earlier. Easy forgot about any tape. Overall height of this fencing is going to be six foot. This is going to have two gravel wards high, but it's the same principle. So your panel's four foot. We strike a mark there. The gravel board is one foot. Same again, strike a mark. And then that should leave the final foot there, which it does. If you've done this correctly and you've leveled it off, this gravel board should go straight in. So let's get these gravel boards in and see if it works out right. So here we have it, gravel boards in, straight in. You can see the mark, what we put in. Look at that, perfect. You don't need to lift that in and out. Right, me and Steve is gonna put the next one on top and then we'll show you how to put the panel on and where it needs to finish on the post. Second gravel board on, but don't forget guys, you don't have to use two gravel boards. Same principle with one or two, three. Exactly the same. Check with the level, absolutely perfect. Now it's panel time. Absolutely perfect guys. See that finish? Where the lip is, the shoulder, that's how you want to finish your fence. None of these castle tops where you're missing a bit of panel. Traders hate that. It's not very professional. So if you want to do a professional job, finish it on the shoulder. It looks absolutely beautiful that way. Next thing, the post. Grab your tape again. This is another top tip. If you haven't got a saw, or you haven't got an angle grinder with a diamond blade, you're going to have to dig that all a little bit deeper. But we already know that's two foot. We set a tape up. It's not the best tape, guys. It's been in my, been in my uh, toolbox for a while. We know that's 88 inches. But then we mark the post. Pick the best side of the post. If you have got a slight damaged post or and you can get away with it in the hole, put that bit in the hole so you've got a nice perfect post on the other side. Eighty-eight inches and then we'll cut that off. Right, I need Stevie for the assistance of that. What we do now, the post has been cut, we lift it in. As demonstrated by Stevie. Right, the poster's in the hole. Next stage, get a knife, cut the bag open. Ready for the water. Level off as we go. A bit of water in the hole, just to get that post piece setting at the bottom. A bit more post treat and then if you have got any rocks or anything else you can chuck in but what that does if you chuck a rock in there a few rocks now it builds the area a bit more so that one bag of post treat is sufficient for one hole as i'm doing this stevie's leveling as it goes are you happy with that in the right place level plum absolutely beautiful It does say on these bags, two litres of water. On a high hot day like today, because it's absolutely scorching, as you may see from my brow, I'm sweating. Two litres of water is sufficient. And as you see, Steve is just aggravating the hole, making sure that post creeps right mixed in. And there you go, guys. On posting, ready and setting. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like what you see, hit that like button. And if you have got any questions, leave a comment below and we'll answer them. See you soon, guys.